there's been so much stress and anxiety and negativity around this election and I think it's having a real impact on me and my emotional well-being. So I just want to take that energy, that negativity and turn it into something positive and go out there and do something useful with my time. This weekend we are going to go canvas in Nevada for Hillary. Rodham Clinton. This election has been crazy and I feel a lot of fear. One of the ways that I can feel better about what happens on Tuesday is knowing that this weekend I made an effort to help get out the vote. This campaign was weird because young people and people my age were less politically active than usual and I feel like I sort of subscribe to that as well but as we get closer and closer to the reality that Donald Trump might become president I am definitely feeling more of an urge to get involved. When I graduated college I became a community organizer and now it's crunch time. My expectations for tomorrow are to be very tired and very frustrated. It's a swing state, so they've been getting a lot of people calling them, a lot of people knocking on their doors. We're gonna drive four hours, we're gonna talk to a lot of people who will probably yell at us, and then we're gonna drive four hours back to LA. So let's go, let's do it. Nevada, here we come. So, I'm awake, and the sun is not even up yet. I really don't wanna go, I just wanna go back to bed. HRC, fully repping. I'm secretly hoping that nobody shows up. Gonna go save America, gonna go do our duty. Getting excited. Woo! Go Hillary. We're here in the office in Nevada. Someone has made an amazing Hi, mural Hi. behind me. This office is dope. And I even met Hillary Clinton. She's happy because she knows she's gonna win. We just got our packets and we're gonna head out to Canvas. I'm um, a little nervous. We'll be talking to Democrats and just convincing people to get out to vote. Already with her, with her, with her. We're at a house right now where we just got trained by someone who walked us through what we're supposed to say. It's like very overwhelming. We just heard it once and now we just go out and say it to people. We just got our walk packet. The organizer in me is already thinking about how to tear them up, make it the most efficient. Okay, well we're in the suburbs of Las Vegas and we're about to start. I feel like once I get a couple houses is down, I'll get the rhythm of it, but right now, yeah, it's scary. We just knocked out our first street. I talked to one person who was like, yeah, I'm definitely a Republican. On to the next street. I'm feeling pretty bad because I just went to like five or six houses and no one was there. Someone sort of like made fun of me, it sort of made me feel like, man, we drove all the way here. Is this a good use of our time? We just knocked on the door of someone who was having a baby shower. I was standing at the door and I was hearing them like clap and cheer and, and I just couldn't do it. So I chickened out and now I'm regretting it because there were so many conversations to be had about voting. Just talked to somebody who was a Hillary supporter and said she was gonna go vote on Tuesday. She knew where she was voting. She was really enthusiastic and supportive of us, so that felt really good. Just had an amazing conversation with a very sweet lady named Maria. Got through the whole script with her. She was like, yes, I am voting. And I was like, great, do you know where your polling place is? How are you gonna get to the polls? Do you know what time you're going? She's got a voting plan. We're probably about 10 houses deep and I'm actually having fun. Every house is a new adventure. I am crying human tears. I just talked to a lady who definitely was like not in the place where she wanted to talk about anything and especially not like with a stranger who's coming to talk to her about an election she is pissed off about. By the end of the conversation she was like so just more open. We talked about like how important Nevada is, how much her voice counts here, and left that experience like just feeling humbled and emotional. Glad that I was able to have such a meaningful conversation with someone today. We've been walking for like three hours now and my legs are so fucking tired. My whole body is exhausted, but it feels good. I want to keep going. I just talked to somebody who said she was going to vote, but she didn't know who yet. We had a little bit of a conversation. I'm not sure if she wanted to be swayed. I'm not sure if I did sway her, but hopefully she'll think about her decision. This is the polling place that we've been talking about. A convenient walk away. Look how freaking beautiful it is. Nevada's so tight right now. Hillary Clinton's at 49% and Trump is at like 50. So I feel like we are making a difference and our presence here matters. It was worth getting out of bed this morning. Even if people aren't on your list, you're kind of interacting with them. There's like all these kids around right now and they're like very interested, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, And I was like, yeah, like I'm just a neighbor coming around to make sure like all your parents are ready to vote. Like, can you talk to them for me? Make sure they are. And this one girl was like, yeah, Hillary Clinton. It's funny because out here you realize that you're like a face of the campaign and you really do want to be nice to everybody and even people who disagree with you. There was a bunch of people just sitting around in a driveway. I could hear them as I was walking away being like, did you vote yet? 
and like just knowing that like my presence is stimulating those conversations is super cool. This process is just making it so clear to me how personal this is and how every vote does matter. I just knocked on the door and it was this Latina woman and she said, you know, she's been watching the election on the news and she can't take it anymore and she doesn't want to vote. And it was really upsetting that someone who normally would vote Democratic just like didn't want to vote at all. We tried talking to her and she became sort of interested. She was like, what time did the poll close? Maybe she'll go out. But it was heartbreaking because as we were saying, you know, this is a swing state, your vote really matters. Her daughter was shouting Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton. And I wanted to be like, listen to your daughter. She wants to see Hillary Clinton in the White House. She wants to see a woman in the White House. I really hope that woman votes. I thought everyone would be mean to me. A couple people were mean to me, but so many people just want to talk to you and want to like discuss issues with you. It's been really heartening. It's getting pretty dark out. At the beginning of the night, I was so nervous. And at this point, I just want to keep going. I feel like fearless ringing on doors. I could talk to a million people tonight. I had this amazing conversation with this woman who was like very excited to vote, very excited about Hillary. And then I met her husband who was similarly excited about Hillary, but he was a felon and he couldn't vote. He was very informed. He knew who he wanted to vote for. And it was really hard to see that he couldn't exercise this right that he has. Just had an awesome conversation with a lady who recently moved to this house. She's not registered here. She's registered at her last location. So we made sure that she was like heading to her old polling location. Just making sure those logistics were in place. Overall, it's been a really worthwhile experience and it makes me want to get involved more. I want to like do phone banking sure everyone gets out to vote. But we're wrapping up just a couple more houses. Pretty tired, ready to go home, but let's finish this up. I was so tired when I got back. I just collapsed into my bed and I felt so happy to have gone. It was like a 180 from how I felt that morning. There were some conversations where I really did feel that their opinions had changed a little bit. They were more likely to get out there and vote. And that's so cool and powerful. I'm so glad we went. It has been an election where a lot of us have felt like helpless. And I forgot that being active makes you feel so much more like involved and able to do something. I definitely feel a different sort of investment when I look at these numbers. I feel that I can do something to change them. We have to do better. We can do better. And I feel the sense of like wanting to participate. There isn't anything that replaces that feeling of like making a difference in your community. Showing up at someone's door and being able to listen to what's affecting their lives is really important to the political process and like really important to like my life as a person who lives in this country and wants to improve the country. There was nothing I would have rather done the weekend before the election than knock doors in a swing state.